Okay, so I've got a length of carbon tube which is just six inches longer than the width of my centre section, which is about nine and a half inches along that piece. Okay, I've got another piece of plastic tube, it's the same length, and I've measured three inches from that end and three inches from that end. I'm going to chop that off now. Okay, so they're cut off, just clean the edges, sanding paper or a file. That's the reason, this is the reason why it was the same length, because by the time you've sanded it and got it straight, it will be shorter, but we'll take that slack up with the, the washers. Okay, so that's that edge. Sure your carbon rod still goes through cleanly so you may have to work it because don't forget you've ruined the inside edge. So make sure it moves nice and freely. Now I could have gone away with just using two pieces. There you go. It moves nice. Next piece, do that with all of them. And I'll go that one's okay. And that one's okay. Okay. So what we need to do, glue your nut and washer on one end and that is to stop this coming off but the washer doesn't want to be any bigger than this because you will be pushing this into the wing. Okay you'll then need a washer that's big enough to go over the tube. Now it doesn't matter that it's bigger than on that end. Put the next tube on now at that point we have to wait because this has to go through there but when it's in there you will have your other washer on, your other tube on and your other bolt on. Okay. So all of those need to move. Now I could have done away with that middle bit and glued that directly in there but if my glue gets into any of these then at least I've got another tube. I've got the, the rod in the middle that will slide and the outer edges will slide. Okay, so now I need to make a hole through these. I'll show you how I do that. So I've marked it on there. And what I need to do get a couple of CDs. Now that you can get them in different thicknesses. I've got the thin one here, it's all on the bottom. So if you want to use wood, it's 6.8 mil. That'll do for me. That goes in the bottom. Butt it up to this one. And this CD case is well it doesn't really matter, it's a straight edge, it's 10 mil, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so six mil from the bottom. Butt it up to the edge. Get some weights. Okay, to weight it down, so that will weight down the wing the inner part the section of the wing, put that up, put this one up to our edge, like that, so that we've got a straight edge going in. Okay, so put that up to your wing, weight that down, and again, 
you're going to need a, a cotton tube to cut through there and again I've got a long long one because it I can be more accurate than getting it straight with this cut tube now this one is <coughs> just a little bit thicker than my centre rod okay I don't want it the same thickness as that because I want to squeeze it into the form I want it to be a tight fit okay now me cut it up there and you want it nice and level now this is going to be a bit awkward for me because I'm trying to show you on the camera how to do it okay right on there make sure that's at 90 degrees wired up now keep your brass tube level with that and that so it's level all the time hold it and just gently turn it and cut it okay now i'm going to turn this around because it's awkward for me to do that that way okay, i'm showing you on the camera i'm going to show you my window okay more control over it this way because I've got me able to measure it so I'm keeping it the tube level with that and that and gently turn it while pushing so it cuts its way in and I find if you turn it that way around it tries to keep itself in this bottom corner which is what you want And just very gently push it as you go because you want to cut the hole you don't want to force it so. okay so I've cut my hole into there and I've inserted the larger of the two outer tubes into there now I need to make this side up and I've Super glued the bolt into there. Uh, doesn't matter too much if the washer doesn't move. It's purely there to stop this end coming off. So Let's put that on. That moves nice. Put a washer on. Put that in. Slide that into the wing. Okay. That all moves nice. Put your washer on. Put your outer section on. Okay, and now I need to put my other bolt and washer in there and glue it in. So, super glue. Where would we be without super glue? Slide that onto the bolt. Slide that in. There you go. So that's the centre section done. And what you should have is that should turn, and that should turn. Oh hold it down make sure they move freely okay that's the reason why I've got the center tube in there in case one of these gets accidentally glued up I know the rod will still turn inside so it's an extra idea but they must freely rotate either way okay uh, as I say the washer needs to make sure that it's not wider than this tube because we need to insert that into the wings okay so I now need to mark up my wing and uh, cut my hole through there so I'm going to be back in two minutes okay so it's same process for the uh, wing I've got to make a hole into that now you can make a mark on your brush tube so you know how far deep you need to go okay start boring a hole in the front and uh, that can be pushed on there There 
go. And if you've done it right, have a nice slide. Okay, now you can keep it like that, or you can put a bit of glue on there. What I did, which I've missed a step, oh no, I can't get the damn thing out now. So I'll leave that one for time being. As it works loose, I'll put glue in there. I'll show you the rest up later. Let's open up. Okay, so my rods are in now, and just to show you how, how it should work. Okay, this should move freely. That should move freely in the centre section. Should move, move freely. So it's all independent one another. Okay, so we just need to slide that into here. Before you go too far with it, you need to put some glue here, glue here, because this is going to be a permanent fixture, so I'll get some glue. I like to use his uh, modelling uh, craft glue, this is called cockpit glue, it's flexible. So, Dries clutter, which is good. Go to the centre section. You can add more glow later if needed. I want to make sure I've got it in the middle. Now you can see now where I've got the servos, so they'll miss, which is what I want. That's all I'm really after, and I will cut a slot out in the centre section later, so the servos can move up into that space. Okay, but the, servo, the wings can move free and clear the servos. Okay, I'll show you the, red, the connecting rods. Which will go later from there into the sections. 